Hi, um, I'm a SAS man more, as you can see here. And that's a picture of uh, the ugly person himself. Um, right, this is just a quick tutorial and stuff um, about uh, putting meme in a front end, and also just showing you a few sites and uh, where you can get around stuff. Okay, so this is my site. Basically, in my favourites, it'll have stuff like how to install meme, Ducade how to install certain systems on hyperspin so a lot of the good stuff is in my favorites how to do x blah 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 they're just basically links uh, from what other people are doing but uh, in the near future I'll be doing mine as soon as I get this uh, new con computer sorted right so basically on the left hand side of all my uh, my site you will see all these links EMU movies that's uh, where you can get all the uh, little movies and little clips for your front end Hyperspin. That is the front end itself, and uh, there's quite a few help links in there on how to set it up. Mame addicts. Anything to do with Mame, uh, any problems or anything like that, uh, just check out that website, it's really good. And Duke 8, that's the thing that I'm going to be starting on very soon, adding um, music videos into like um, into the system to make it look like an arcade, little Duke arcade video machine, basically. Uh, and all these down here, it's got Mugin. Mem development, so all sorts. Xpad, how to put in a um, joypad. System 16, different kind of control, um, arcade systems, and a super model. That's a new one. So basically, this is my site. It's got a few documentaries and stuff in there if you want to look at them. Um, so we'll go too much onto that. All right, get rid of that. All right, the next thing. This is my mate's site, Circo. Uh, he does all the little clips, like I was saying, and this is his little site hey, as you can see there emmovies.com and you can get all your little clips there and join the FTP which will give you even more uh, so next one we'll go on to is hyperspin hyperspin this is the front end uh, this is the, the the part that makes your machine look like a proper arcade um, there's people doing themes and all sorts of all the time working project um, hyperspin 2.0 is coming out soon and these are on my friends list this is the main guy big bad boy yeah he's the guy who'd uh, sorted out hyperspin it's also bad he's a good lad uh, all these people on here are people who have helped me or they're, they're doing stuff to do with the hyperspin Daz is one of the big guys who's uh, always in the background doing stuff hypnosis young kid bit of a whiz kid this guy's helped me out loads so I've got full respect for this guy uh, there's one person who is on here is Rhonda, and Rhonda does a lot of the themes like and for hyperspin. Also, Bad he does a lot of the hyperspin kind of wheels and stuff, and all the themes. So, uh, a cool breeze, pretty good. Okay, so there are just a few uh, of the people who I know from hyperspin who are always busy doing stuff to make it bigger and better. So anyway, I'm not going to dwell on all this kind of stuff. Carry on. Uh, Mame Addicts, this is the main forum, so you can just come in here anytime, need help, pop in there. There's also fun stuff and everything like that, so you can get um, little discussions going on. Very popular thing, as you can see, UK is put in there. Alright, so we'll, we'll go by all this now, and I'm going to show you how quickly, how to put a front end into Hyperspin, which is going to be main. I am going, I'm not going to run uh, Hyperspin because basically it will crash it when I'm using Cam Studio. Uh, so I will just show you basics how and what's what you need to kind of set everything up. Okay, mine runs from a removable three terabit hard drive. Yep, so as you can see, it's a removable. I'll just make this bigger so you can see it even better. So that's mine. Everything I do comes from there in Hyperspin. So this will be a plug in and play any machine. As you can see I've got Xpadder already in there. So if I started Xpadder, double click on that, you can see it's all set up for like a, an Xbox controller which I can move around now. Uh, you can see there that I can do stuff with it. So that's all set up for an Xbox um, controller. So I can plug it into basically anybody's PC. Which is the idea. Right, but moving on. Um, as you can see this is the Hyperspin uh, main hyperspin folder which uh, I use this is my kind of setup right so what you've got to make sure is that everything is basically the same name 
and it's named the same from your ROMs, your XML, you know, and even your uh, your emulator, how it's um, named. So you can normally find that in settings. So if you go into settings, you can see all these systems. So make sure that the first folder that you're going to do, so for, for instance, we're going to do MAME today. So MAME has to be all in capitals like that. It has to be the same if you're going to make everything the same. So we'll go back. So, that. so in there, I will need to make a folder named MAME in exactly the same as that, which is already there, which I've done. In that folder, there will be a subfolder with all your MAME, what you've downloaded in. So if you double click on there, as you can see, this is what you get when you properly uh, download MAME. You can see there's ROM files there. That has to be renamed the ROMs. And you can see the executables. Yep, applications. Boom, that'll start the actual thing going. Yep. And we'll just go into ROMs. I'm just going to show you a few ROMs down here. So if you can see all these names there. In an XML, they must be the named exactly the same as an XML file. Yeah, or else it won't run. Yeah. So we'll go back out of here. And you might be thinking, oh, what's an XML file? Well, yeah, in databases. Ba -ba -ba. So we're going into MAME. So click on MAME, you'll see these. There you go, MAME again. This is going to be your XML. So we're going to have a little look inside this, see what it says. And it, what it'll have, it'll have. Um, so I'll put edit. This will have all mine which I have. And as you can see, we don't need that. Um, it's got all the games which I have. And it's, it's been edited. So these will be exactly the same as if we go back into the ROMs. So we've got emulators, MIM, ROMs. So for instance, we'll go for. I'll just go for an easy one, 1942, 9, So they should be exactly the same as the XML. Yeah. There you go. We just saw that. There we go. So 1943, 9, 9, 9, 9. These are all exactly the same. If they aren't the same, if you've got space there, or USA or Euro, it needs to be all the same, exactly the same as what's there. It's easy. Once you've got everything named the right, it will work. It's absolutely easy. So I'll come back out of there. Right, that's just uh, yeah. all right. So once you've got your little folder set up like this, so if you're using this for an hyperspin, like I say, you need your emulators folder. There should be a MAME, which has got to be capitals because it's the same as the system thing back there and then you go in there and there's your meme again what you've downloaded all this should be in there your roms folder your meme executable yeah so now we want this thing to work we could we could work it from here now and the, the application would start uh, because of the roms and everything it would, it would all start but I want to show you just quickly for the front end right so now after we've got everything set up in there we've got a little meme uh, we need to go to here page Q. This is where you set it all up. The paths, the paths are quite important to uh, make sure they're directed right. And there's extensions, different extensions to files. So some of them could be CDIs, bin, zip. You know, but in this case there will be zip files. Main uses basically zip files, right? So here we go. We need to go into wheel settings, and then we're going to, need to choose a wheel. Yep, so we're going to choose wheel. We'll have all the systems already written down. Yeah, you can see them already. And you see in capitals again, it's got MAME. Yeah? So we're going to click on that. And there we go. You see, mine's already set up. Because it's a removable, my drive is called an E. Yeah? And uh, that's all you need. You don't need any fancy stuff. If it's a C drive, then you might have C, home computer, blah, 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 blah. Right. As you can see, my computer's old and I'll keep popping up saying, do you want to configure it? But we don't. Right, so make f sure that the extension, in this case for MIM, it's a zip file, yeah? Others will be different, like I've said. The executable, yeah? So basically, this is where it starts from. At the moment, I'm already in MIM, but so 
this is where it starts. If it's on your computer or desktop, you start it from there. So mine it would be computer because it's outside of yeah, the main computer. It's a removal. I click in there. Then I go into my emulators. Remember, this is for where your executable is from. Main. See there? There it is. When I click on there and open, it will show my extension. Exactly the same as it was before. Now we're going to find the ROMs. Exactly the same. Going into exactly the same place. Oops, sorry. Yep, so we've gone. Mad Moro. There we go. Emulators. And we're going into the same place. Because it's MIM, we need to go into MIM and then we'll find the ROMs little folder. And there she is. There we go. Okay, and then OK. And that's set up. Basically, zip everything there, hyperspin. If you want to add controllers, you can see joystick. Mine's already enabled because I use something. Um, my Xbox controller. Uh, but basically that's set up now, so you could start that and uh, the application would start. I'm not going to because this computer is a bit slow and I'm in the process of buying a new computer. But if you need any help or whatever, just catch me on uh, Mim Addicts or EMU Movies or even Hyperspin. I will try my best to help you. Um, if you've got any questions, just let me know. It's fine. Okay. Bye for now and I hope it helped you. Please post and uh, say if it was. Thank you. Bye.